Hi, my name's Earl Morton. I work for Delta Contractors, a local contracting company here in the Potiki, in the Eastern Bay of Plenty. Um, Paul Blenhassett, uh, he's the managing director, very active man. He's just up there on an excavator working on the hill. We, we make uh, concrete aggregate, sands, and base course metal, AP40, AP65, GAP100. Um, we use a lot of it ourselves with our own crews on roading work, as well as supplying others in the market. This raw material comes from a place called Maxwell's out of the Waiwaka River. Um, we extract it from above the water level on a, on a beach, it goes to a stockpile where we'll sometimes sort it there or crush it there and or bring it back here. We used to just make this stuff one pass through a jaw, but we had a lot of trouble getting proper gradings and shape, whereas uh, we, we had to put it through a jaw then a cone. Whereas this, since we've had this impactor, one pass out of the river into this, and we're producing M4 at the end of the belt. What value we find in this particular crusher is it's, um, firstly, it's easy to move around. Uh, we've got transport trailers here that it can climb on itself. No big deal, no, no over width permits. So in, in that respect, it's really good. And being on tracks, it's good once you get it on the site. Can walk quite a bit, saves you stockpiling with that loader. You can just walk the crusher back. The other value is probably is the simplicity of it really. You know, from uh, the manual point of view, into the hopper, hopper, into the feeder chamber, through the impactor and out the belt. Pretty simple, not, not too much to go wrong like a lot of other things. Maintenance on these machines, uh, you do a little bit every day, it's easy, real simple. If you skip it, you'll pay for it. Uh, our relationship with Equip2 is very good actually. We went on a trip to look at this crusher and uh, Equip2 staff met us on the, at the airport actually, picked us up and uh, were very, very good to us. Um, not not just the food they supplied us either, the, the comments and uh, they, they were really awesome. Looked after us top notch and uh, yeah, I think before we got home we decided we'll buy it. And since then they've been really good, really great. If one of them's away, there's someone else that can answer your phone. We've never had to wait for parts, touch wood. They've been good. Um, we did have a computer problem. The crusher was not behaving at all. And we tried everything we could and had to ring Equip2. The next day, Robin was here. Within three hours, the crusher was going fixed. So that was a, that's a good plus. Even though he's that far away, I think we only lost one day's production. The weather, I've found, plays a big part. No crushers like working in the pouring rain. So we tend to make hay while the sun shines, um, crush hard all summer. In the winter, just crush on the fine days. It's, it's a lot better. Oh, that magnet belt you can see from here, that, that's a good thing. Amazing how much steel and wire is even in the rivers now that supposedly no one's touched before and we get bits of steel and wire coming through. So that has got a really good magnet belt on this plant. The screens are easy to change, not too hard. That's a good plus. Contracting every day is different. You can you plan out a good day, by the time I get to work it's all changed. But uh, a good day is when the sun's shining and this thing's humming. You, you know, if you can do 10 hours and produce a thousand tonne of material on the ground, we're pretty happy with that. A lot of people say, oh, you can wind it up and make a lot more, but if you go 10 hours at 100 tonne an hour, that's good enough for us. This crusher is very important to us. I couldn't tell you all the reasons why, because it, all our competitors might hop on the bandwagon and get one. But no, it is, it's, if you, especially for us, we lay a lot of our own metal and it's good being able to produce it ourselves, lay it ourselves, because we know what we're using, we know what we're getting. Equipment to make the whole job easier. Every time I talk to them, they, they know what you want, no mucking about, yep, it's here the next day, which is, that's really important. 
you know, we don't have a big shelf with all the parts on it, what's the point? And we can ring them and buy it off them. Oh, the, the fact that it can walk easily and we can shift it ourselves easy, you know, the weight is perfect. It's not over width. That's, that's just says it all really. Or we'll load it on a, we were crushing metal um, last year for the new Pauriki Wharf, the breakwater job. And uh, we had the crusher up Waiwaka River, which is about 30 k's from here, up in the Waiwaka Gorge. Yeah, so easy to transport and versatile when we're at the other end. There's an area like this, flat river, and it can walk from that pile to that pile, wherever we want it to go. And it saves us having a stacking belt. Um, if you work it right, the loader's only working half a day. Yeah, it's a two-man job. The 700 has allowed us to be more profitable because we know what it costs to produce every tonne of metal. That really puts us in a very strong position, especially when we're tendering for highway work. Oh, and our contracting business, we have a maintenance contract with the local council, which when the weather's bad, uh, we're busy, we're flat out. Um, when the weather's good, there's still maintenance jobs to be done. A lot of that is using metal and aggregate. So really, yeah, the, the crush has become a big part of our business now. It's, couldn't go wrong. Get it, so long as you don't come near Podiki with it, you'll be fine. I'd recommend the Rockstar because of its mobility, because of its ease of operation. If you understand it uh, or compare it to others, it, it is very simple. Look after it, it'll look after you. Uh, I'd have no hesitation in recommending anyone to deal with equipment too. Uh, magic, awesome.